Hi, in this video, we are going to see how to set up a OpenID Connect authorization code grant flow using AWS Cognito service. And we are going to use this tool. Uh, it's basically a website called OpenIDConnect.net where you can test the OpenID Connect flow and check the tokens, all those things. So we will use this website for testing. So let's go through the setup. So you can log into AWS Management Console and go to Cognito Service. So you can search for Cognito Service. And go to Manage User Pools. And now you can go ahead and create a user pool. You can name it as DC Playground. And then just review the defaults and create the pool. So now we have a user pool created and the next step is to set a domain name. So you can try something like OIDC demo and check if it is available this domain is available in case it's not available you can just add some numbers or something and then you will you will get the domain so right now i will just use ydc demo and it's available i click save changes so i have the domain created the next step is to create a oidc client so let's create a client called OIDC demo and I will just do a create app client and it will automatically create a client ID and secret and then we should go to the app client settings and select that uh, app and the client which got created in the previous step and then enable the cognito user pool and add the callback URL of this playground open id connect playground so you can get the callback url from this redirect uri so i'm just going to copy it put it here and just select the authorization code grant flow and as of now let's just select email open id and profile and click save changes so we have created the client and set the scopes for this client. So let's create a test user to test this flow. So let's name it as test user one with some temporary password. Let's skip the phone number and just put a dummy email address. So the user got created so in order to test this flow we have to set the urls in this uh, open id connect playground so one easy way to set this url is if you go here there is a configuration and then you can see there are some predefined providers oidc providers since uh, cognito is not in this list you can put custom and then it will show this form where you can enter a well-known OIDC configuration URL. So in order to get the well-known configuration for your Cognito user pool, go to the general settings. And my Cognito user pool was created in the North Virginia region, which is US East 1. So just copy that pool ID from here. And then I already have the URL open here. So I'm just going to replace this pool ID with my own pool ID and press enter. So if you see here, this base URL is fixed. It's cognito-idp.us-east-one.amazonaws.com. And this is the user pool ID of my user pool. And then this is again a fixed, this is a well-known open ID configuration URL. So copy this and go to the playground, paste it here and click use discovery document. It will automatically load all the URLs like authorization, token endpoint, token endpoint, all those things. And 
again you can go to this cognito screen and app clients show details copy the app client id and put it in the oidc client id select app client secret and replace this with app client secret so here in the scope please make sure only these three scopes are present that is open id profile and email if any other scopes are there please delete those scopes because it don't work the reason is if you see this app client settings we have only added email open id and profile so just make sure only these three scopes are present now let's save this and let's start this flow so it will automatically take me to this login page and then i enter the test user one pass and my password so now when i sign in for the first time on cognito will ask me to reset the password so i am just resetting the password I click send. So I successfully logged in. So if you see your authorization code got generated after I logged in. Now when I click exchange, I got an ID token from Cognito. So I can click next year, and you will see that uh, there is an ID token. You can view it on JWT.io, or you can just click verify. When you click verify, if you look at this id token the decoded id token json this is my user id this is my email address and my email verified is true and then the issuer is my cognito idp whatever is that in this well-known configuration so this is the same issuer so this is how you set up a open id connect with aws cognito and uh, this is a pretty helpful tool, OpenIDConnect.net, to test this end-to-end -end flow. I hope you like this video. So if you like it, please share your comments. Or if you have any questions, please share your uh, questions in the comments. And uh, also, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.